You will need two vessels to hold water and they need to be the same size, same shape, same material, same color. The only thing that will be different about them is one will have a lid. It's important, it's important that you have the same amount of water in both vessels with the same temperature water. So how do you do that when you don't have a graduated cylinder and there's no distinct markings on the cups? You have some scotch tape that we gave to you in the beginning of the year, or you should probably have some scotch tape or masking tape around the house. You will need a handy dandy Sharpie or a pen or pencil or something to mark on the tape. And I've added a small mark so that I can add equivalent amounts of water to cup A and B. Do not mark on your parents' cups and dishes. I've even marked vessel A and vessel B. Vessel A will serve as my control and vessel B will be my experimental because it's going to have a lid. Now the lid can be made out of whatever you wanna make it out of. I'm gonna use foil, you could use plastic wrap or a paper towel, or you could put a paper plate over it. You can use any kind of covering lid that you choose. Make sure you have enough water to fill both vessels at the exact same time. So you may need a big bowl or you could even heat it up on the stove if you don't have a big enough uh, measuring cup to put in the microwave. So I'm gonna use three cups worth of water because I know that will fill both A and B to the marks that I've made on the cup. When you were using a small amount of water, we did 90 seconds. I have a lot more water, so I'm going to go ahead and do two minutes. I want you to think about why that might be necessary. Before you take the temperature of the water or distribute the water, grab a spoon and give it a good stir to evenly distribute the heat. My water seems to be about, looks like about 111 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to have a fancy thermometer. I can see what that is in Celsius. That's 44 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to separate this water into the two vessels. So I'll have the same amount of water and it will, both vessels will start at the same temperature. Now I'm gonna cover the experimental vessel B and I'm going to wait for 20 minutes to see which vessel cools faster. A, the control, or B, the experimental with my lid. 